Good morning, good morning, good morning. My name is Lynn, and welcome to my kitchen. That coffee's a brewing, and you know there's some sweet iced tea in that ice box. So help yourself to either one. Um, today, as you notice, I'm not in my kitchen. Um, I have decided to once a month, or probably around the fifteenth, if everything goes right. I will be bringing you a quilt block of some sort and sharing with you a little history of that quilt block. So let me turn the camera around and let me show you the quilt block we're doing today. Okay, the very first block, which was is one of the easiest blocks you can do other than the crazy quilt, which we will get into that eventually down the road. Um, is the four block. So basically you need four pieces of fabric um, cut in the same, I think these are two and a half inch squares, and then you just sew them up and alternate the different colors, uh, different pieces of fabric. This is white, and I also have a couple others, and then all you need to do to make the quilt um, to make anything uh, let me show you here we just need to you can make take the four the four patch and these aren't even just so you know uh, and all you need to do is to kind of alternate just like that and let me see I cut another one this pink and then there you go you sew all four of those squares together these four patch and then you have a bigger block uh, now the four patch and the nine patch which will probably do at a later date um I may add that to this I'm, I'm not a hundred percent it's basically the same thing um I don't have an example of the four of the nine patch, um, but basically you can go ahead and turn these, all these blocks like that, and you got a different quilt pattern. Um, you could just do various of the uh, four patch and make different um, quilt blocks. Like this would be one quilt block, but in reality, this right here. This is your four patch. So just alternate and you can alternate and make the white in the middle. Just like that. And this was one of the first blocks that, sorry about that, I had to take a phone call. This was a very first, one of the first blocks that the settlers early settlers taught their children uh their women folk is to do this um just to sew on these little blocks and this pattern dates back probably 1800s um maybe sooner than that because our early settlers that came over on our little different ships and stuff they would bring their quilts, their cozy quilts. The biggest part of what the research that I've read was crazy quilts, which crazy quilts is a totally different deal. Let me, let me show you something of a crazy quilt. Okay. And the crazy quilt, this, you're going to have to use your imagination here. Um, so way back when the settlers would, um, take a big piece of fabric, a, like a square it probably about 12 inches square I'm guessing and they would take scraps of fabric that their husbands grew out of or the children's grew out of, and they would just sew it like nilly willy on the different scraps um, of wool they they might even put like a just they would play around with the different scraps and then just sew them on there on that one piece of fabric square and then there they would get the blocks together and put their crazy quilt together they may add beads or yarn or 
buttons. They might add buttons to their crazy quilt. Uh, but back then it was the idea of making the quilts to keep everyone warm. And a lot of times the, uh, four patch and the, um, nine patch and there's a couple other ones that were along that same line, um, that they would figure out, hey, we could do cut the little pieces of fabric in squares and then we could sew them up and create all different kinds of different patterns um and most of you that do quilt if you notice a lot of your patterns um like this is the four patch which that's pretty much what it's called as but there's different variations of a four patch quilt i mean you could do a bunch of four patches and nine patches and add them together and that quilt may be called a different name um and there's some other quilt blocks that have two or three different names um so that is our very first quilt lesson and i will probably bring the nine patch um to you guys at a later date maybe next month in march um, and like I said, this will be around March 15th, somewhere in there. Um, I'm guessing some, unless something happens where I can't, um, do a video. Uh, but that is the very first block and a little bit of history. Not much. Uh, I really couldn't find a whole lot on the four patch. Um, but I did find that the crazy quilts, they pretty much sewed you know, little pieces of scrap, it, scrap fabric until they figured out, well, hey, let's sew these uh, pieces in squares, the same size squares, and then just sew them up. And biggest part of the time back then, they hand sewed or they had an old treadle sewing machine, which my grandma, uh, both of my grandmas owned at one time, but I remember my grandma Galleon um, sewing on the sewing, treadle sewing machine and she also had a regular sewing machine um electric sewing machine and she would sew these blocks together and she sewed up and she couldn't see very well but she sewed until she stuck the needle through her finger yeah you heard that right and after then she just hand sewed uh my mom sews and she does, um, my mom does a lot of strip, um, quilting where she just cuts pieces. She cuts a piece of fabric. Uh, I think it's 12 inches square and then she just cuts strips. It's called a tie quilt, I think. And then she just cuts strips of fabric and then sews them on, but she does do other designs as well. Um, which I treasure every quilt that i've gotten from her so that is it for today so keep making those things from scratch and if you don't know how you know at least start trying to learn how to do that to bring back the old ways of us cooking and us making things for our home from scratch so that's it for today so see y'all later have a very blessed day a little quilting tip if you buy fat quarters uh, and they have a piece of cardboard save that cardboard because you could cut your um pieces your pattern pieces out of that cardboard uh that is what my mama's always done and i will continue to do in that